good? Yep. All right, so we were attacking the guillotine before. When you don't, when you're unable to get to that high wrist positioning, you have a head wrap grip here, which is gonna be very dominant for sweeping and also getting back up to the front headlock. Okay, so let's say I've heisted up here. I go for the guillotine, but Joel has either tightened his neck preemptively or got his hands on my grip, which is making it hard to get that at high wrist positioning here, okay? And I'm not gonna expend a lot of energy on the arm and guillotine, okay? So of course we can work go behinds, but let's say that we end up in a seated position. So this is the seated front head or the head wrap grip, okay? So we have easy sweeping here because we have control of their neck. And as you see, once their neck is here and curled in, all I need is a lifting mechanism of their hips. And that's where the sumigeshi is gonna come into play, okay? So let's stand here. First thing, <clears throat> the biggest detail when you're head wrapping is sticky hooks, okay? Being lazy with your legs is gonna equal uh, easy hop to the weak side of the chokes. Go ahead and hop towards your right, please. Just like this. Not the end of the world. We have answers for this, but I'd rather prefer, uh, I prefer that I don't get there, okay? So when we're here, I'm gonna have sticky hooks. That way when he goes to hop to the side, I'm able to start threatening sweeps in that direction, okay? But let's say that we land here and we're neutral and I'm able to initiate the movement. I'm always gonna sweep him towards the side that I have head wrapped here, okay? So when I'm here, as you see, I'm in a low wrist position. Anytime I feel like I can go for that high wrist guillotine, you absolutely can, and then we'll focus on the submission. But this is in circumstances where I don't have that opportunity, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I set up this sweep. As you see, I got sticky hooks. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go towards my right. So I'm gonna let go of my right hook. It's gonna go to the mat and to the middle, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to roll towards my shoulder. I'm taking my elbow into his hips and that's gonna curve his neck and make it easier to sweep him. We're going in this direction. So we land on the shoulder. We're gonna be doing all these movements at once, but for technique's sake, we need to break it down, okay? So as you see, without me, Joel's in a pretty bad position just with that, okay? But we have a butterfly hook. Don't just, you can get away with the head wrap grip of just flicking here, but never create that habit with sumigations. Always invert this bottom knee, okay? So you can flick, but make sure that you're lifting and inverting this bottom knee. Because as you see, as soon as I invert this knee, where I'm able to go here, rock to the shoulder, foot on the mat, we can flick, and invert this bottom knee. I want you to do that every single time with any sumigashi that we do from now on. We're rocking, inverting this bottom knee because their weight is on your knees. As soon as you flick, it's not really rotating anything. When you go and you invert the bottom knee, look, look how rotated their hips are here. All right, so you're going to get the sweep then. So with the head wrap here, again, I'm gonna show this more uh, in, a, in a, live, a live movement where I'm mixing them all together. And then we can land into the side head wrap where we can either continue to attack our choke, attack ancillary chokes, or preferably start to work towards north-south Kimura, and then threaten the back, which we'll go over later on, okay? So that's the initial sweep. Now we have sweeps depending on his movement, okay? So let's say that he tripods, all right, and he starts to pressure into me. What we can do now is an overhead sweep. As you see, going in this direction is gonna be hard, going in that direction is gonna be hard, but I can get him over my head here. Whenever we need that, we wanna push forward a little bit just to generate momentum forward because whenever you're pushing into them, they're gonna to continue to push into you. And you can flick them overhead, use the momentum to come to the side head wrap, or you can stay inverted north-south and start to attack ancillary submissions or just bridge to the side head wrap. Okay, so we have the initial sumigeshi, the overhead sumigeshi. Let's do that one more time. Here I'm going for this, he tripods, pressure's into me. That's with the momentum. 
I can attack the chokes if it's not there. I'm gonna use my legs. There's a couple options. You can use your legs as momentum to come up, or you can just switch your hips and bridge and look down towards the mat. And that's what's gonna allow you to come up to the side head wrap where we can attack chokes or attack the back. Okay? So let's say I'm going here, he tripods, but instead of going into me, he's working towards the weak side here. All right, as you see, forcing him overhead is gonna be hard. Forcing him towards my right is gonna be difficult, but we can continue to sweep him in this direction. All right, but this time, as you see, I need sticky hooks. If I didn't have sticky hooks, I would get smashed here, okay? So this time, my inverted leg switches, all right? So whatever direction you're sweeping, let's say I'm sweeping to my left, my left leg is going to invert towards the mat. But I have his arm trapped in here, and that's what's going to help me. I'm going to pinch that in towards my hips, start to lift, invert the bottom knee, come to the top position. Don't settle into a mount here, okay? He's going to easily get back to a guard. What I can do is use the momentum to roll towards the side head wrap. So coming off to a side instead of the mount. Or let's see, I get here, I can let go of the head wrap, settle into a more of a neon belly type position and then attack from here. As soon as I land in this position into a mount, he's elbow escaping, he's kipping escaping. It's gonna be troublesome, okay? So I prefer that you work from here instead. Okay, so those are our three options for a multi-directional sumagaces. What if we can't sweep them? So we're here, I go to sweep this direction. His base is just really wide. His base is just real wide. If he lifts his hips, you're probably gonna get the sweep. This could be more for someone that he lift up and then they lower. They lower the knees to the mat. Yep, he lift, they lower. You just feel like you can't, you can't, they're really heavy. You feel like you can't sweep them, even though you're doing everything, okay? What we can do is we can heist back up. All right, so I sweep here, it's not working. I'm gonna let go of the head wrap for a second. Just lift my hips up, knee on the mat, head wrap again. Now we're in front headlock to either attack the guillotine in transition or work our go behinds, okay? So what your strategy should look like here, we go for the guillotine, it fails. I go for the sweep, if I get it, great. If it fails, if, they're, if they lift their hips up, you're gonna be able to sweep them real easy. But if you're sweeping them and they're just kinda just hopping and staying low, we're heisting them back up. Okay, so I stay low, good. I'm gonna heist back up. It's a beautiful time to go for that diving guillotine. As you see, I have the high risk position. I can get the submission here. If I lost it, I go grip in the armpit, Come up to the side head wrap, and from here we can attack the back. Okay? Or you can just go here. The guillotine's not there because he's defending his neck. From here I can grab a grip, work a go behind. Okay? So always attacking the choke, always attacking the back. If you get to a seated position, we're looking for sweeping. Failed sweeping is going to lead to guillotine attempts and also heist, okay, to the front headlock and threaten the back.